With the Champions League spot in sight and the potential for more silverware, welcome to the episode. <music> Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Gunning for the Top. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have games against Benfica in the Europa League quarter-final second leg and against Brighton Hove Albion in the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. More silverware? Possibly. Uh, since you were last with us, well, in fact, let's have a look at the uh, table which is uh, up here behind me. Um, we are currently fourth. Um, and having won the Caribou Cup, we have qualified for the Euro Cup 2, or the Europa League 2, I think it is something that happens in the summer, I th as far as I can make out. Um, but we're, here we are in the league, as I say, fourth uh, on 63 points, just in front of Manchester City, also on 63 points. But we have a vastly superior goal difference uh, to them, hence why we are in fourth. Uh, but we do have a game in hand over Chelsea and Manchester United. And if we were to win that, we would jump over Man United, but not Chelsea. Uh, we'd be a point behind them. Uh, but we do have two games in hand over Liverpool. Uh, which, again, if we were to win both of those games in hand, would put us just four points behind Liverpool. So, um, not insurmountable, but um, bearing in mind there's only 38 games and we've got, what, nine games to play? Um, it's not insurmountable, but uh, the rate that Liverpool, Chelsea and Manchester United have been going, as much as we're winning, they're winning too, um, we have to rely on one of them doing a bit of a slip-up and us to keep up our good form. Um we have lost two games, uh, once against Tottenham, once against Manchester United. Tottenham was the recent one, of course. Let's have a look at what the uh, has been going on. Not many games since you were last with us. Uh, in fact, only three. Um, we have won all of those games. 4-1 uh, against uh, Crystal Palace in the Premier League division um, and then Benfica the first leg uh, which will come up on uh, will come to in just a moment because obviously that's going to be our first game today is the second leg we did beat them 2-1 a very narrow uh, win uh, in the end um, but uh, the one thing that is a bit of a bother is they did score an away goal which obviously means they have a little bit of an upper hand at the moment so we do need to score an away goal um, to cancel that one out at the very least um in this game so that that is paramount um and then we beat wolves by five goals to one one uh edward scoring four goals he was absolutely rampant in that game um and they couldn't contain him so he has got four goals in fact i think he's one goal now away from um getting a five hundred thousand pound bonus oh i'd love a five hundred thousand pound bonus right now um so they are our two games uh, again fairly close by just two days in between so um, we are going to be tired against Brighton in the FA Cup semi-final so uh, to get past them is going to be at a bit a bit of a chalk um, they come thick and fast right now if you look down through the list we have had a uh, international break along here somewhere but um, but they do come thick and fast um, from here on in so um, let's go back then to have a look at um the game against benfica he says and we will actually i think we can show you the goals can we just show you the goals just to bring us up to date I'm sure it gives us the opportunity to do that. Oh. Apologies. And. I'm not sure it does. Um, hang on a minute. Pause. Well, we obviously haven't set this up. So. Um, let's go key highlights i'm not sure how much it will give us but uh and 
as you'll see, there's the first goal from Lacazette. That got us on our way just sort of 16 minutes into the game. A corner from Maitland Niles. Oh, this is a different uh, different highlight, sorry. Edward on the outside got tripped. And that came to nothing. And that was their equaliser by Everton. A missed interception, I think, was the uh, main cause of that, as we saw. Bellerin there with the ball forward, looking for Lacazette. Found him, but uh, the defender was equal to it. And Bellerin on the overlap here. And there we go, Lacazette getting his second of the game, our second. And they were the goals. There wasn't much more. Second half was really quite a defensive uh, defensive piece then, really. Nothing majorly happening in that second half. So I think it's high time that we got through to the important part of the episode right now. And our first game, our Europa League quarter-final against Benfica. And here we are. Here is the team that we have selected for this game against Benfica. We have Leno in goal. Tierney, Gabriel Holding and Maitland-Niles in defence. Willem Partey in central midfield. And then a Bangamang, Smithrow and Lacazette in front of them with Edouard, especially after his last game, up front on the bench. We have Runnison, Kolzenak, Saka, Nikita, David Luiz, uh, Cabellos, Mekanef, Mari, Chambers, Pepe, Cedric and Patino. Um, some names you haven't heard of, I think. Uh, well, not uh, in the, the, the games so far this season. So uh, a couple of players there appearing. Cedric obviously been included in the squad now. Um, and Patino also in there. So uh, that is the team that we're putting out. We submit that team. Uh, tactical, uh, lacks tactical familiarity with the formation. I don't under, still don't understand this on the basis that um, that uh, we've been playing this formation pretty much all season so I'm not quite sure why that's still doing that. I'm presuming it's not a bug um, because this has now gone to the full version so uh, I'm presuming not. Um, so this is the team that we're putting out against uh, Benfica and Hopefully we can get that away goal. Um, oh, of course we have the uh, missed due to injury, suspension, how much um, um I think it's clear well, no, we can't replace players of their calibre and under the words in a matter of no, 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 bad timing. It's a big match, you're right, and I want the players who are available to play and step up to the plate. Yep. Um, do you have a plan to stop him? I guess we're about to find out. So because it's uh, a big game, we have the extra graphics, the teams. And the stadium looks very much like Arsenal's stadium, I have to say. So I'm not quite sure what's... Uh, What's going on there? Right, we have the first highlight playing in blue today, of course, because we're away. Smith row out to Maitland Niles. Maitland Niles inside to Lacazette. Back to Maitland Niles. He's tried to tip it inside looking for somebody. I'm not quite sure who he was looking for because there wasn't anybody there. Uh, who's this backtracking and not backtracking particularly well? And they've put that one wide, thankfully. Just five minutes gone. Leno 
to holding holding out to Maitland Niles inside to Smith Rowe who's got it to Lacazette Lacazette now back to Thomas Thomas to Smith Rowe Smith Rowe runs across field and forward oh tackle miss tackle there but Willen holds the ball he's got to Lacazette it's gone through to Edward and Edward's hit the post but he's picked the ball up again it's come back to Maitland Niles Maitland Niles now looking for space inside has been tipped over the referee giving nothing and I think this is all gone a bit wonky now because um, right <laughs> because we've swapped to the uh, Right, let's move the Arsenal formation over there. Let's change that to. Sorry about this, changing it while we're in uh, in game. But obviously, having done the fix, uh, what do we want? We want SLP formation, SLP stats. There we go. And then we'll have latest scores in the bottom here and then up the top. We'll have match stats. There we go. I know we've got match stats over here, but this isn't uh, this isn't uh, changeable. But uh, doesn't allow us league tables, which is odd. I thought it would do. Maybe if it's uh, if it's in a proper game, it will do. Right. So let's continue. Quarter of an hour gone. They look re relatively unhappy. If you look at the faces, sort of orangey faces. So they are probably least happy than we are. We're happy as it is. And if it stays like this to half time, which is pretty much what the second half was in the first leg, a pretty much nothing um, bit, as you'll see, we are sort of up on the XG. They are there, but a one goal could change this either way. Um, right. We can't pump fists and we've got an aggregate laid. No. Okay. Um, let's do an outstretch then and go. We've got an aggregate lead. Let's hold on to it. Be good to get that away goal to cancel the away goal out, if nothing else. Um, would be rather helpful. I've just noticed that that's gone back again, which is really annoying. Bangy Mang with a cross in and a goal from Edward. That is the away uh, goal that cancels out. 3 1 on aggregate now. Um, so, one step in the semi final. They have got to score three goals now in order to win this tie. A draw, and it will go to penalties, I think. There you go. Um, as you'll see, we are edging the game. Not on possession though. They um, they have the, the 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 possession as it stands. T and Nathan Miles are tiring. So, with sixty five minutes gone, that's probably a good a good shout. So Thomas will have Caballos come on for Thomas and Maitland Niles we will bring on Callum Chambers. Now not sure I think we actually get five substitutes here. And again it's gone back. This is really annoying. Every time we get a highlight it's going to drop back. Smith Rowe now inside to Cabellos. Cabellos 
finds Lacazette. Lacazette's tackled, but he manages to get the ball back. He's now pushed the ball forward to a bangamang. Very closely together. Cabellos looking for a bangamang. He's at the post. He's gone in. It hit the post and just sort of rumbled its way across and over the line. I think that's possibly a bizarreish goal that you will see, but we've now gone to 4 1 on aggregate and game over, I think. There you go. Inside. Look, and it it's almost took a funny bounce. Looks as if it was going to come out and then uh, rolled itself over the line. It is. Every time that goes off, that's um, that's annoying. Bang Bang and Willen now both tired, so we'll look to bring those on. In fact. Let's get this highlight out of the way first. Cabellos to Edouard. Edouard back to Cabellos. And Cabellos launches one wide and over. But I think we've managed to successfully hold on to this game. So what were we looking at? Willen. Kolzenak coming on for Willen. Seems a bit of a, a strange... Let's bring Jordan McEnough on for him. And the other one was a Magamang. We'll bring Saka on for a Bangamang. I think we can make one more change, actually. Um, Colzenac for Tierney. So all said and done. There we go. And we'll see the game out. They have a free kick just outside the area on the far side. Ball's in and they have got one goal back. Jan Vertigen. Vertongen, I think that is actually. With his first goal of the season. What a time to score your first goal of the season. 4-2 on aggregate. 2-1 again on the night. So equal to the first leg. And that's how it's played out. And semi-finals we go. Semi-final draw was already made. Um, and I think it was uh, against uh, Tottenham or... I can't remember who Tottenham were playing now. We will find out very, very shortly. Um, so... Um, I think we did a nice job of managing this tie and this second leg performance was a good one. I think we can go with that. They've changed that. Might even media reaction. Um, okay. So, semi-final of the Euros. So, uh, yeah, Bastikas was the uh, the club that uh, Tottenham were playing. They beat them 5-2 on aggregate. So, we will be playing Tottenham uh, in the next game. And Borussia Dortmund, who beat, uh, drew 1-1 with Leicester, um, will be playing Feyenoord, who won their leg 4-2 on aggregate. Leicester losing theirs 4-1 on aggregate. So, that is what we would do we could 1.37 million for that win and it is arsenal versus tottenham in the next round which is the semi-final um, let's have a look when that comes up it can't be too far away actually in fact there it is so we've got the game against Brighton in the semi-final of the FA Cup. And then we have this. So what we'll be doing is in the next episode, we will be uh, coming back for the Tottenham uh, second leg of the uh, semi-final. And then we'll be looking for a Premier League game here to finish off our season. Probably one of these games down here, uh, West Brom or Wolves. Um, by which time we should know roughly where... Uh, we're going to be so we'll come back for the game that is probably the uh, the linchpin of whether we actually uh, go into the uh, Champions League next season or not okay so it's high time we move through then to uh, our next game which is an FA Cup semi-final at Wembley 
against Brighton and Hove Albion, which, to be honest, just recently we haven't got. I don't think. Let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, so the last game that we played against them was in the league at their place. It was a 2 2 draw. Prior to that, we beat them in the Caribou Cup 3 0 and in the Premier League at home 2 0. But uh, as it's on at Wembley this time, who knows? Let's see. Can we continue our good form? We'll find out now. And here is the team that we've selected for Brighton in the FA Cup. We are at Wembley for this game. We have Leno in goal, Kolzenak, Gabriel, Holding and Bellerin in defence. Willen and Cabellos in central midfield. Saka, Smithrow and Lacazette are up uh, in front of those two with Edouard continuing as the striker. Renarsson, David Luiz, Pepe, Nikita, Chambers, Partey and Abangamang are on the bench. So, without any more to do, let's go through to the game. So you'll see the changes that we've made. And I have installed the, opera, the opposition instructions. Two two draw last time out against them, and we are favourites here. So let's go out and do it. That's not really motivated anybody apart from Le Cazette. Uh How much of an edge? Do we have? Yeah, it doesn't mean a great deal. Players change, manager change, circumstances. We'll pay a little attention to it. Uh, as leading scorers in the FA Cup, are you looking forward to another positive match in front of go? We tend to play on the front foot, and the boys have done that really well so far. I think they can continue. Again. Wembley Stadium looking in its all its glory no latest scores because there are no other FA Cup matches going on at the moment I think the other semi-final has been played I didn't really take note of who had won that game I have a feeling it was a nil-nil draw and it was one on penalties so we'll see Smith Rowe with the corner first highlight and oh holding hit the crossbar I thought the goalkeeper turned that over actually but um, it appears not. Another corner for us. Willen taking the corner this time. Edouard didn't quite get his head to that. Defender did. Lacazette now. He's going to look to try and get this cross in. Hits the defender. Gets cross in at the second time to Willen on the edge of the box. And Willen scores. Such a fierce shot. Walton, the goalkeeper, couldn't hold on to it. So half an hour in and we do have the goal lead. Lacazette here. Couldn't get the cross in. And then crosses the ball, finds Willen who hits it on the volley. And such a fierce shot. The goalkeeper just couldn't, uh, couldn't stop it from going in. His 14th goal of the season. So he's doing a splendid job. Bellerin now on the far side with the throw in to Lacazette. Bellerin now finds Lacazette. Lacazette, he's been tripped in the box. At least we think so. It's going to VAR to check, of course. And it is a penalty. Willen to take the penalty. And plants it in the corner. 2-0 lead against Brighton now. And 40 minutes gone. Hopefully we're good for the final. Uh, 
and Brighton on the counter attack here. Ball in Leno equal to that. I thought he was going to do something very weird there for a minute. A good throw out by Leno. We haven't seen many of those um, to Saka, but Saka's ball in really didn't go to anybody. And here they are on the counter attack. Leno didn't seem to do much move into that. So I think he always knew that it was going wide. Holding now to Bellerine. Bellerine, another one before half time, really does kill the game off, I think. Lacazette now. Is he going to use Bellerine on the outside? No. He's going to try and get a cross in. He does get the cross in. And, oh, two. To Willen looking for his hat trick. And I don't know who that was. A tripped in the area. Uh, but Bellerine comes back and picks up the loose ball. And through to the dressing room we go. And I think it's, things are going well. But I know you're capable of even better. That's not got the reaction again. Hey, hey, hey. Um, it doesn't give me the opportunity. It's still not changed that. So we'll start the second half. What we are going to do um, replays on. Yeah, clear cut chances. Disallowed goals. We don't want to see missed penalties. I think uh, I thought we'd reset that, but clearly not. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to change this one for match stats as this keeps closing down every time we open it up it closes somehow or other closes down I'm not quite sure if you can fix it need to investigate further right suggesting Smith Row and Nikita Give me everything. We'll do that change happily, and we'd also look to be bringing Willen off, albeit Willen on a hat trick, of course. Lalana there, danger man for Brighton, and must prevent them from getting back in here. Leno's equal to the shot. And there we go. Willen swapping for Thomas now. And doing a good job of preserving this lead at the moment. Oh, against the crossbar, I think. I know Leno pushed it onto the crossbar. Bellerin with the header out. And we're on a counter now. La Cassette with the ball. I think he's got Edouard in front of him in the box. Can he get the cross in? He's been tripped. And I think it's gone out for a corner. Not given the corner comes in, headed clear by Webster. Saka now pushes it out to holding, and they're going backwards as it currently stands. And probably Lacazette now for Pepe. That's our final change. We have a throw in on the far side, Kolzenak. Throws it in, finds Edouard. Edouard inside to Pepe. Pepe gets a block and then, yeah, here we go. Edouard into Pepe. Pepe's blocked by the defender but comes to Saka. Saka can only put it in the arms of the goalkeeper. Well, 85 minutes gone. Brighton have to get three or at least two to go to extra time or penalties. And I think. That is game over. We have won that quite clearly without too much problem at all. Probably weren't quite as good as the XG. But um, yeah, overall we'll be happy with that. And I think outstretched arms. Uh, congratulations. You've dreamt of playing in the final. And now you're going to be doing it. Delighted for you all. So as defending champions, we are back. And... Not many people would have predicted FA Cup final for Arsenal. Would they have not? I 
Tam je to Ola Svojec, je, no. Yeah. Um, well, a hat trick raised some eyebrows today. Um, yeah. So let's have a look. Um, Norwich was the team, nil nil. Um, and as I said, it went to penalties. So we will be playing Norwich in the final and let's have a look where that stacks up I think it'll be right at the end of the season won't it um, oh not quite um, it's on the 15th of May and then we have two Premier Division games immediately after that so it looks like we're stacking another episode up here because we have the Tottenham um, Euro Cup semi-final coming up and then we also have the FA Cup final I think what we'll probably do is do the FA Cup final as a bonus episode um, and then we'll uh, just do the uh, the West Brom and Wolves then as our final uh, thing so we're looking at the moment as Tottenham Crystal Palace in fact I think the Liverpool game will probably be more important so it will be and look at that that is horrendous absolutely horrendous we've got to do the business in the first leg and push them out of um out into the distance because there is literally a day between playing liverpool in the premier league who come up with it wow look at this this is madness absolute madness so we have a game on sunday against burnley a day in between and play liverpool a day in between and play tottenham a day in between and play Crystal Palace. So literally in the space of a week, one, two, three, four games in a week. And then we only have two days and then we've got to play Everton. Two days and we have to play Liverpool again. Sorry, a day and we play Liverpool again. A day and we play Norwich in the FA Cup. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that is absolute mad absolutely bonkers oh i'm glad we had a look at that i've really sort of impressed myself now dearie me um okay so i hope you've enjoyed today's episode if you have don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel keep up to date with all future episodes on this series and a new series as they are released uh, new episodes for gunning for the top are currently released every tuesday and thursday at 4 15 p.m um, we will be pushing it out on a Sunday as well, uh, or a Saturday, sorry. Um, fairly soon now, I'll let you know when, um, just so that we get through the series. Uh, and why not follow me on Twitter, at Just Offside 2, for all updates for this channel and new episodes, uh, series, as they come out. Thanks for watching, we'll see you um, on episode 10, which comes next. <laughs>